Hi everyone on YouTube and all the NFL YouTube prognosticators and football fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts for the NFL Division Round games and my picks for the 2023-2024 Conference Championship games. Check it out. Well, before I get to my um, thoughts of the Division Round, well, I want to send my condolences out to um, Dexter King, the, um, the youngest son of Dr. Martin Luther King, who... Was the um, was a civil rights activist from the of um, for the son of Dr. Martin Luther King. So um, I know we just celebrated Martin Luther King a couple, couple weeks ago. So that was a big loss on on the King family. So I wanted to send my condolences out to Dexter King and his family and everyone else over there. They're, they're suffering right now. And and just so you know, I'm not into politics or anything like that. Normally, when it comes to the politics, I go. Play straight in the middle. I don't do politics at all. So it's not a political thing. I'm just sending my condolences. Anyways, continuing on. My thoughts about um, the division round. Um, for Baltimore and Houston. Baltimore just showed up to play. And they did. And, yeah, and I forgot. Straight up, I went 2-2. Two two. Kansas spread that was the best one overall. 3-1. and one. And over and under, 2-2 two two overall. So anyways, continuing on with that. So out of so far of the year, straight up I'm seventy one and one seventy one one oh five overall of the year. Gets a spread I'm three uh, one twenty seven and ten overall of the year with with thirteen pushes, and over and under I went I'm thirty nine and thirty four overall in the year, which means no matter what for the over and unders, if I just get th the last three over and unders wrong, I get above five hundred marks. So I'm pretty good with that one. So. Finally get an over and under, finally above the over and under all year round. It was a great comeback that I pulled out in the end for them. I was kind of down for it for a while. So it, I was down and, down and out for it for a little while until um, week 14 or something. And I finally turned the clock, turned, turned the tide around. So I'm pretty proud of that. So I'm really proud of that mark. I got a, finally above the, over the 500 mark. So I'm pretty, I'm proud of that. So anyways, let's hope for next year for over and under I get higher on for the over and unders. So anyways, continuing on. Anyways, back to Baltimore and Houston. Baltimore just showed up to play. And for Houston down the road, I think they have a bright, bright future with CJ Strawn at in quarterback. So I have the yeah, Houston has nothing to be ashamed about. They are really a really good um they're gonna be a great team in the future. And it's gonna come down to the like I think down the road, I think the AFC South is going to be a very, very tough contender down the road. Very tough. So, the AFC South is going to be one of the toughest, I believe, next year. One of the toughest division in football. I wouldn't be surprised next year if, um, like, the AFC, AFC North. Like, the AFC North. I think that we are the next team to get a, be over on 500. Or teams are going to be above 500 next year. I wouldn't be surprised at that. be surprised at that at all. So, anyways, I think that'll be the toughest division in football next year, continuing with the AFC North, too, that be, being said. Anyways, continuing on with that, Green Bay and San Francisco, that was a significant, great, great game. Came down to the end either way, but uh, Green Bay fell short. But Green Bay has nothing to be ashamed of for themselves as all, at all, too. They played really well. And for a while, I thought Green Bay was going to pull off the upset, but it didn't turn out that way. So... Anyway, San Francisco got the win. Now they get to host the NFC Championship game. And Baltimore gets to host the AFC Championship game with these two teams respectfully. First, with the Detroit Lions in there in Tampa Bay. Detroit, they did what they needed to do. And as of late, Detroit's defense is stepping up to the plate when it matters the most. And that's important in the playoffs right now. Very, very important. So, and that is a big, big step on the plate on that one. So anyways, so for this, for this, I think this is going to, this is really happy for Detroit. Now they get to go to play for the NFC championship game for the first time in 32 years when they lost to the Washington Commanders. Well, it was the Redskins at the time, but you know, and, and now they get to go to their first championship game since in th night, since nine, 32 years, I think it was something like that. It's 32 years. So very, very happy for them. Very happy for the Detroit Lions. In Buffalo and Kansas City, Buffalo just can't go over the hump. 
as uh, this one, Buffalo, they it was a back and forth game. I thought Buffalo had a chance for a while, but Kansas City just came back strong. And Buffalo, hate to blow it to you fans. Another ride right call, which I would I've been calling it ride right too. Considering from Super Bowl twenty five. Yeah, sorry for Tyler Bass. So um, he's getting a lot of heat rage right now. Kind of feel bad for him. So, anyways, that's my thoughts on the uh, divisional round games. Let's get on to my um, NFC Championship game picks. Okay, um, let's kick things off for the um, the first game within the NFC Championship game. It's Baltimore and Kansas City. Now, for this game, this is going to be a very, very close call. I expect it to be a like a um, like a high flying game, could be a defensive game as well because both defenses are pretty solid. As of right now, I think the best edge right now on offense, I'm gonna have to give it to Baltimore in this one. You know, Baltimore off his offense is playing playing really well. Lamar Jackson's been playing pretty well. You know, everything's clicking for Baltimore on the offensive side of the ball, and I don't think this is gonna be enough for Kansas City's defense to hold them. Not say anything bad about Kansas City's defense. Not say anything bad about Patrick Mahomes. But Patrick Mahomes and the offensive side of the ball have been struggling all year round. And except for last week's game, which they finally stepped up to the plate against Buffalo. But what I'm trying to I think what I'm trying to say is that I think whoever has the best foot best foot forward is probably gonna be Baltimore. And I hate to say it, I think for Lamar Jackson's running game. It's going to be very too much for Kansas City's defense. And this is Kansas City's, this is the Chiefs' first um, NFC Championship game on the road, too. So let's get, I'm not taking my high chances on this one. I'm not saying they're really a bad team on the road. They are a good, they were a good solid team on the road this year. Better than home, personally. But this is, this is, this is, facing Baltimore's offense is going to be too much for handling for Kansas City right now. So I'm going to say, I'm going to pull off the, I'm going to say the Baltimore Ravens. I'm going to pick the Baltimore Ravens at home over the Kansas City Chiefs to win the, the AFC Championship game. And Baltimore is going to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. So I'm going to take the Baltimore Ravens straight up on this game. On the lineup, Baltimore is favored by 3.5 in this game. I'm going to take Baltimore minus 3.5. And, and I'm going to say this right now. If I get to pick pushes in this game... If I could, this week is it. <laughs> I believe it's, I'm gonna have a. I could be wrong, but I believe we're gonna see some. I'm gonna see some pushes in this game. So just want to let you know. But so I'm gonna take Baltimore minus three and a half. Over and under, it's forty four and a half. I'm gonna go over forty four and a half. Just it's gonna be too close of a call right there. It's kind of pushing it. But I think they're gonna pull it off. But the final score. Baltimore Ravens 24, Kansas City Chiefs 21. On to the NFC Championship game. Detroit Lions and the San Francisco 49ers. Like I mentioned about the Detroit Lions defense, their defense is stepping up to the plate when it matters the most. And that's key to the playoffs. Not saying anything bad about San Francisco's defense too. San Francisco's defense has been playing good too, but not as solid as um, Detroit's defense. And but... And b- both offenses are very equal, I would say the least. So there's Christian McCaffrey on one side of the ball, Brock Porty on the other side of the ball. Of course, can't forget about George Kittle, which I don't know if he's still playing or not. I don't really know. I haven't really followed George Kittle right now. But anyways, on the other side, we got Baltimore. We got the Detroit Lions. Offensive explosions right now. No matter what, you can pick anyone like Jared Goff in there. And that offense is clicking. That offense is clicking too. So, but if I had to pick right now recently who has been stepping up to the plate the most, I would probably say Detroit's defense, to say the least. And to me, I think defense is going to matter the most in this game. And I'm not going to say anything bad about San Francisco's defense or, 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 um, or San Francisco's offense, or in the same thing as Detroit's defense, or Sam, or Detroit's offense. I see these both these things equally right here. If I get to pick a game that's really tough to pick, this one's it. 
But I gotta, it's so close that I'm gonna pull off the upset in this one. And I'm gonna take the Detroit Lions over the San Francisco 49ers to win in San Francisco, taking the win over there and be representing the, the NFC in Super Bowl 58. So that's my pick right now. The Detroit Lions and the, the Baltimore Ravens in Super Bowl 58. So this is my knowledge on this one. Can, if that, I'm gonna say this. If this prediction happens, this would be Jim Harbaugh's groundbreaking on that one. Cause since then his brother plays for the Ravens, for our John Harbaugh. And of course, you got the Detroit Lions, where Jim Harbaugh is playing for Michigan. So, kind of awkward moment, <laughs> to say the least out of that one. So anyways, like I said, I'm going to take the Detroit Lions over the San Francisco 49ers as an upset to win, to take this game. And I'm going to take, on the line, San Francisco's favored by 7 in this game. I'm going to take Detroit plus 7. Over and under, it's 51. I'm going to go over 51 because I think this is going to be a high scoring game too. With the final score. The Detroit Lions 31. The San Francisco 24. Okay, a big shout out this week is Martin Wong. Check out Martin Wong and the rest of the NFL YouTube prognosticator page in the description down below right here. And until then, this is Andrew Warren signing off and saying Rock out and good luck to all of your picks this week.